Hey everybody, this is Jennifer, and today I'm going to show you how to make this wire rose beaded bracelet, and it's actually a very beautiful bracelet, and very delicate, and it's actually one that a lot of people really love, and I'll, it also had a clasp on it that just hooks in like that, and then you just press it closed to wear it. But this is what I'm going to show you how to make today. And please feel free to leave any requests for videos down in the comments. And feel free to leave a comment. I would love to hear from you. And if you enjoy this video, please give it a like. It tells YouTube that you're liking my content. And it helps them to recommend the videos to other people. So it does help my channel out a lot. So I hope to hear from you soon and enjoy the tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make a wire rose bracelet with beads and I've already made two links of it and it's going to be an 8 inch bracelet but this is what it's looking like so far. And the beads I'm using are 4 millimeter round green adventuring beads and the wire I'm using is pair by Parawire and it's 22 gauge antique copper and it's tarnish resistant wire. And it's this kind of reddish color and it's I like the colors together really well I think they look really good I started out by cutting lengths of the wire that are 16 inches long and before I cut them I straightened them with my wire straighteners and then I cut them with my Xeron cutters and to start I'm going to use this dowel and this is a one inch dowel and I'll link this dowel set in the description below along with all my other tools that I use and I found these dowels to be really nice for making jewelry because they're lightweight and it comes in a variety of sizes. So I do really like them and I'll show you why I like them for this making this bracelet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my wire to where it is centered pretty much on here or even on both sides. And then I'm going to fold it around like this. And then I'm going to loop it around one time and I'm going to pull it so it's tight on there and it's just basically an interlocking loop right now. And this is going to be the center of our rows. So what I like to do is I like to kind of warm my wire up just a little bit by straightening it with my fingers like that and I do that periodically throughout making the roses because I find it helps make the wire a little bit more pliable but you want to keep your thumb on the rose on the dowel and keep it flat as flat as possible so what we're going to do is we're basically going to be taking the back wire and then we're going to be pulling it around and going up under the front wire and you can switch hands when you're doing this and I'm going to do two wraps like and I'm going up under and then I'm going to look at it and it's a little loose in there so I'm going to take my needle nose pliers and I'm just going to take my wire and gently grab it and I'm going to pull on each wire because I want to tighten that center up as much as I can like that. So now I'm going to kind of straighten out my wire a little bit more and then I'm just going to pull this wire around this way and go underneath and keep my thumb on it. What I like about the dowel is it's not heavy and I can rotate it in my hand and also it's not heavy to hold. You could use a ring mandrel, but that would be very cumbersome and a lot more difficult to work with. So that's why I like the dowels. And you'll see how I rotate my hands with these. And so now I'm gonna pull this around. And then I'm just gonna keep placing a thumb. Every time I pull one around, I'm gonna make sure I keep my thumb on it to make sure it stays flat because we want it flat so it lies flat against the wrist. And you just wanna keep pulling it pretty snug. And I'm going up under that wire and around. You wanna make sure each wrap of wire is going on the outside of your flower. 
And that's another reason for placing your thumb on it. And this is pretty loose on the dowel, so you wanna make sure, you wanna keep a good grip on that too. So I'm pulling that around, and so now I'm going, taking this wire, and I'm going underneath and around. And you can see the rows really starting to take form here. So I'm just gonna keep doing that. So I'm gonna go around and underneath. And I'm gonna rotate. I'm gonna go around and underneath. So I'm periodically gonna look at it and just make sure my rose petals are tight like I want them. And because I can adjust them right now, I can't adjust them later. So I'm just gonna keep going around. So around and under. And I'm gonna pull that on around. And now I'm gonna pull this one around and under. Around and under the wire. Around and under the wire. And just keep going like that. And I found that the 16 inches seems to make the perfect size rose. But I'm periodically gonna check it with my other pieces just to make sure I don't get it too large. And I think it is about where I need it to be. Maybe one more wrap. So I'm gonna go around and under. And I'm actually gonna take this one more time to help finish it off. I'm gonna go around and under. And I'm gonna stop right here. And I'm gonna slide it off my dowel. And then I'm gonna take my Zoran cutters and I'm gonna cut this right in the middle. And it doesn't have to be exactly precise. You just want it to be an approximate. And I'm gonna make sure my wires are pulled nice and, nice and tight and make sure my petals are nice and tight. And then I'm gonna cut these wires kind of short, but long enough so I can tuck them into the wire rows on the bottom part of it. Whenever you're cutting wires, you always wanna hold onto the wire or put your thumb over them to make sure they don't fly. So now I'm gonna take my needle nose pliers and I'm gonna take this first piece of wire and I'm gonna grab it and I'm gonna kind of bend it and I'm gonna tuck it into the inside of the rows. But you don't, that one's coming out through the top. You don't want it to come out through the top. So I'm gonna trim that just a little bit more so it, won't, so it can still go in but won't come out the top. So it's folded already. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tuck that in there and I'm gonna make sure this is, and see that loosened up right there? So that means I need to kind of pull this around a little tighter. And I just wanna nestle it in between these wires here on the inside. And just take your time doing this because you wanna make sure these wires are nice and tucked in so they don't scratch the person wearing the bracelet. And so I'm gonna gently press that in and press it in flat and make sure that piece feels flat. And so now I'm gonna take this other piece of wire and I'm gonna pull it around and see that petal moved out. So I'm gonna make sure I kind of pull it in and I'm gonna pull this piece of wire in and I'm gonna turn it and I'm gonna nestle it into the wires right there, to the inside of the wires. And that one actually flattened down nicely when I pushed it in there. And I wanna make sure both pieces of wire are nicely tucked in before I move on to the next step. So now I have my wires tucked in the way I want them. So just make sure you get them the way you want them and you wanna be able to run your finger across it and have it be perfectly smooth because you don't want it to scratch anybody when they're wearing it. 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of my green adventuring beads and I'm going to put it on to this end of this wire right here. Like that. And then I'm going to go slightly above it, like right there, and I'm going to bend my wire. So now I'm going to take my six step pliers and I'm going to take the smallest uh, loop right here and I'm going to go around that. And as I go around, I'm going to open up and then I'm just going to keep pulling it around. I'm going to wrap this until it meets up with my bead and that should be about two, three, two to four wraps. And you might want to kind of scrunch your wire up together just to make sure your wraps are nice and tight. So I'm going to put this back on here and I'm going to pull it around just a little bit more and I'm going to trim it right there. And now I'm going to take my pliers and there's this little piece of wire sticking up right there. And I want to press that down into this so it's flat. And you just want to gently press it and just kind of work your way around. And just make sure that it's nice and flat. And then run your finger over it. Just make sure everything feels smooth. So now I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna take my pliers right above my green bead and I'm gonna bend it downwards. So now I'm gonna take my six step pliers and I'm gonna use the same one that I used for the other one. So all my loops are the same size. And I'm just gonna bring it around. I'm gonna bring it around and I'm not going to wrap it yet. I'm going to leave it like that. Because what I want to do here is since this piece is going up and down, I want to connect it to the piece of the bracelet before it that is flat. And you want to make sure when you put it on that you have everything going the direction you want. Like right there is not the direction I want. So what I want to do is just put it on like that so they're all falling the same direction. So now I'm to hold this better and hold this loop into place. Since I can't get those other pliers in there, I'm going to take the back of my bent nose pliers and I'm going to hold them to this. You could use other another just other set of pliers that you have, just whatever you have on hand. And I'm going to start wrapping my loops. And sometimes your pliers will come off, especially when you're holding with the back like that. So now I'm going to hold it with my back of my bent nose pliers again. And I'm going to wrap around just until I meet with that bead. And then I'm going to trim that piece of wire. like that. So now this little piece of wire that's sticking up, I'm just gonna go ahead and wanna press it down and make sure it's flat. And then I wanna make sure I don't feel anything that's gonna scratch anybody or catch on their clothes. And then I wanna make sure this wrap is perfectly flat since this one is up and down. So what you're gonna do with each um, link is you're going to have one piece going up and down vertically and then you're going to have the other piece going horizontally and that'll give you better flow on the wrist and better movement with the bracelet 
And so I'll show you how to do one more wire rose and then I'll let you work on it on your own. So now I'm gonna show you how to make the rose one more time. So I'm taking my length of wire and I'm gonna measure and pull it up so they're even and we'll pull it across and I'm gonna pull it around like that. And now I'm just gonna start doing the rotating part. I'm gonna put my thumb in the middle and pull that around and rotate it around and pull it around. And then I'm gonna pull this piece around. And you wanna make sure you have your center, make sure it stays nice and tight. And so now I'm pulling around, I'm going up under, and then I'll pull around and go up under. I'm just making sure that it looks okay. So pull around and go up under, around and under. And you can see the rows starting to form here. So around and under. And I'm not happy with how that's pulling right there. Right there, it's a little bit loose. So I'm just gonna pull my wires gently to pull that into place. So I'm gonna take this back wire, I'm gonna go around and up under and then around and under. I'm just gonna keep going like that. So I'm gonna keep around and under, around and under. Now you can really see the rose taking shape. And once you really get into this, you can do them pretty quickly. So I'm just keep going around and under. Now I wanna check it with my other links and just make see how what the size is looking like. And I think it's about right. I'm gonna do it just wrap around a couple more little times. So I'm gonna go around and under, around and under. I'm gonna double check the size. And that's just slightly bigger than what I want. So I'm just gonna pull this back a little bit like that and check there. That's more what I want. And then I'm gonna pull my rose off the dowel. And then I'm gonna take this ring and I'm gonna cut it in the middle. I'm gonna pull these pieces flat. And then this, and then these two pieces, I'm gonna take them and I'm gonna cut them nice and short. And I may have to trim them further, I don't know yet. I'm gonna take my needle nose pliers and I'm gonna grab one piece of wire and I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna bend it and go on the inside of the rows. I just want to nestle it in there so it's not sticking up or sticking out and I do feel that sticking out a little bit so that means I need to pull it out and I think I need to trim it up just a little bit more so I'm just gonna grab it and I'm just gonna take that little end off and I just took a tiny piece off so now I should be able to nestle this in here a little bit better. And these roses can take a little bit of practice. So just have patience with yourself. And this wire looks like it's gonna be a little bit long, so I'm gonna go ahead and trim it just a little bit. So now I'm gonna take this piece and I'm gonna curve it. And I'm gonna pull it in towards my rows, in towards the center area. And 
and then I'm just gonna press it down. And there it is. And then, since my last link ended up horizontal, I wanna make sure the vertical one goes through that loop. So I'm gonna put one of my beads on. And slide it down. And then I'm gonna take my pliers slightly above it not very far above it and I'm going to bend it and then I'm going to take my six step pliers on the smallest one I'm going to put it right there and I'm going to bend it around and then I'm going to open it up and turn like I have to open it up to turn it otherwise you could tear your wire up and then I'm going to pull it around gently like that with my fingers now I'm gonna take my pliers and twist that around there. And it looks like I'm gonna get about three wraps. And since that looks good to me, I'm gonna take this little end and I'm just gonna trim it off. And I'm going to take my pliers and I'm just going to tuck it in there and press it down really well. And I'm going to run my finger over, make sure nothing's sharp. I'm going to make sure these are nice and flat. And so for the other side, I'm going to put the bead on. Now I'm going to fold it. downwards like that, going up a little above it and folding downwards. I'm putting my pliers in it at the same place and I'm pulling up and around and I'm going to pull it and I'm going to cross over. And now I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it on my bracelet and make it make sure it's laying the correct way before I finish it off. Now I'm going to take my bent nose pliers and I'm going to hold it with the back of them. I'm, and I'm just going to wrap this piece of wire around until I meet up with the stone. It, if you wrap this too many times, it can actually push the bead up under your rose, which you do not want. So that looks good. So I'm going to pull that out. And I'm going to go ahead and trim that right there. I'm going to take my pliers and I'm just going to press that down gently in there. I just want to make sure that's pressed down really well. And then I'm going to make sure I don't feel anything sharp. And periodically, you're going to want to take your ruler and measure your bracelet. And I need to make sure I get to 8 inches, including the hook at the end to hold it. So right now, I'm at about 5 inches. So I want to get up to about 7 inches so I have room to put my hook. So now I've got my bracelet to 7 inches. And since I don't have jump rings in the color of this wire, I'm going to make some of my own. And I just need two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my 18 gauge wire because I want it to be strong. And I'm going to make two jump rings. One's going to be a little bit smaller than the other. So one of the jump rings I'm going to put on the second size right here. And I'm just going to kind of roll the wire around here a couple of times just to make sure I give myself enough room. And then I'm going to cut that off.
And then I'm gonna cut these down the middle. I'm gonna cut this next one. That's kind of hard to get in there. And I cut it so each side is flat on this ring. So they'll match up to each other really well. And if you use this side of your cutters, you will always have a flat end. So I just want to make sure both ends are flat on this piece. And I need to trim just a little hair extra right here. And now I'm going to try to see if I can make my ends meet up the way I want them to. The 18 gauge will give it strength for the clasp. So now I'm just gonna have it like that and I'm gonna press it down. You can buy real jump rings in a lot of different colors. I just don't have any in this color. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to open it. And I'm gonna place it on this end of the bracelet right here. And then I'm going to wiggle them together and you just kind of want to go back and forth until they meet up nicely like that. The other side, because I want to actually have room for a class to go into it, I'm going to make a jump ring that's just a little bit larger. So I'm just going to go up to this third step up and I'm just going to wrap some of this wire around that third step and I'm gonna to have to keep rotating my hands to get it. And I'm just gonna do a few rotations just so I can have enough wire, make sure I have plenty to work with. And then I'm gonna clip it off my spool. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna clip it straight down the middle. And it can be a little bit hard since it's 18 gauge. And I wanna make sure that both sides are flat and this side right here is not. So I'm just gonna barely trim that little edge off to make that side flat. Sorry. So as you can see, both sides of this are flat. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna open this ring up. You just wanna twist it gently. And you don't have to open it all the way. You just wanna open it like that. And I'm gonna put it on the other end. And I'm gonna do that. Because I want where the hook is going to go to sit right, because right now it's not, I'm just going to take this piece of wire right here, this little loop on this end of this bead, or on the end of this link, I'm just going to twist it so it will lay perfectly flat. And this one is already up and down vertical, so it's laying flat as well. So for my clasp, I've taken a length of straightened 18 gauge wire, and I'm gonna take this flat side right here, and I'm gonna use my wire rounder. This isn't a necessary step, it's just something I personally like to do to finish off a piece of jewelry. Okay, and so now that's rounded off and smooth. So now I'm gonna take my needle nose pliers and I'm just gonna grab it right in the tip and I'm just gonna bend it up a little bit like that. And then I'm gonna go down into the thicker part of my pliers and I'm just gonna press that closed and just flatten it out just a little bit. And 
And then I want to take my bracelet and the take the larger ring and just make sure this fits through there easily. And that does. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my six step pliers and I'm going to go on this third smallest loop and I'm just going to take my wire and put it over there like that. So this is facing up. So if I look at it downwards that way, the loop is this way and this is facing up. And then I'm just going to bend this down like that. And I'm going to bend this wire in to where it's close. And then I'm going to trim this wire on the, so this side is up so it's flat. But I'm going to trim it fairly close. And I'm going to take my round nose pliers. And I'm just going to roll this up until it meets up with the wire. Like that. And so now I'm gonna, I wanna make sure this is flat. So now I'm gonna kinda just press it in my nylon jaw pliers. And that just makes sure everything is flat. And I'm gonna take this little ring right here. I'm gonna open it up with my pliers. I'm going to open it up with my pliers just a little bit, just like that, just enough to get your loop in there. And so I'm going to take the smaller jump ring that I made and I'm going to hook this through with the hook part facing downwards. So I'm just going to loop that in there like that. Now I'm going to take my pliers and I'm just going to close this. I'm just going to close it gently. I want to make sure it's all pressed together. And once again, I'm going to take my nylon jaw pliers over this part. And then I'm going to remeasure everything and make sure everything comes directly to eight inches. and it comes exactly to eight inches. So this is our bracelet that we made. And this is what it would look like on. So thank you for watching this tutorial and make sure to leave a thumbs up that lets YouTube know that people are liking my content and to recommend it to other people. And that, so that helps me out a lot when y'all do that and I appreciate it. And feel free to leave comments. I would love to hear from you. Know, I would love to know what you're working on right now. And if you have any questions at all, or if you have any video, um, or if you have any video requests, I would be happy to try to make a video that would help you out with something that you're wanting to work on. And I will do my best to make that happen. And down in the description, I'll leave all the materials that I used. And also I have a list of all the tools that I have and that I use and love. And so you can look for those down there with direct links to it. So I hope to see you soon and I will see you in the next video. Bye.